guys how are you lovely lovely beautiful beautiful people doing today it is december 23rd yes it's december 23rd <laughs> currently in the parking lot about to go get my hair done it's time to me to see my hair under this okay love to give my hair a nice little breather and then i have to put it right back in something because i'm in a short film and they cast me with long hair so I have to show up on shooting day with long hair because that is what I got cast as. And we'll have my hair out proud for about a week or so. Then we'll be back and we'll have to get more tracks in and stuff. But it's all good. It's all good. My nails still look so good. Gel polish is really where it's at. Like this looks like acrylics. It's not. It's just gel polish. Like come through. We are in the car. My hair is done. How cute. My little curls. Um, got my Starbucks because gotta have it. Gotta have it. And I got a bagel. I wanted a croissant, but I got a bagel. So anyway, let's head back to the house. Hi guys, so I figured what I could do is just wrap some presents and talk to you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the Hawaii series. That was really, really fun. That's my second Hawaii series. And I just feel really blessed and fortunate that I am able to even say that. Um, but yeah, today is December 23rd. Um, so we've got two days till Christmas exciting stuff exciting stuff i'm can you guys see what i'm doing hold on let me back up let me back up a little okay there we go you can see what i'm doing now you can see what i'm doing awesome 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 all right so what did i do today let's chat because honestly <laughs> i don't think i got a lot of footage to be perfectly honest with you let me be honest with you guys the Danielle's 12 Days of Christmas was such a good idea because I am struggling with the idea of having to be creative every day. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot. My hair done today. You see it? You see her? Isn't she pretty? I think so too. It, my hair's gotten so much healthier since quarantine because I was struggling in quarantine. Like, let me, because I care about y'all and because we're close. I'll show you guys what my hair looked like during quarantine. It was not a pretty sight, okay? And I <laughs> I remember calling my mom crying because I was like, my hair looks horrible, it's fried, it's, it's bad, it's bad. And she was like, Danielle, it's gonna be okay. And I was like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> But it was fine. Got it on the right track. Thanks, mom. Um, got some braids in. If you are having difficulties with your hair as a black woman, um, baby, put some braids in there and call it a day. So today, like I said, got my hair done. Really, really exciting. Um, then after that, went to Starbucks. Then after that, tried to go to Walmart. What I needed to do uh, I wasn't able to, so I'll have to go tomorrow on Christmas Eve. Probably one of the worst places to go the day before Christmas, but like, it's good, it's fine. It's We're gonna make it work. No, where are my bows? Are they on the, by the dining table? So I will have to get bows later because I know they're somewhere in here. I just don't know where. Uh, something fun happened today. I finally hit 2,000 on Instagram. And that's really exciting because I remember just trying to get to 1,000, just trying to get to 500, just trying to make it to 100. Like literally Instagram is one of the hardest platforms to grow on. And I just see bigger and better things to come. Dylan, this one's yours. All right. Ah! We got this one. We got a big one right here. This one has stars on it. Oh. This is a 
big package. So I figured what I could do right now is just give you guys some tips on how to grow your Instagram. Um, since I was able to do it in, you know, once I was consistent. Because that's the first tip. You got to be consistent. So anything before consistency is like, doesn't matter. So consistency is first. So what I would say helped me the most with my Instagram is consistency, having a content calendar, planning everything out in advance. I'm talking about accessories, shoes, the outfit, how I want to pose, um, where I wanted to pose, um, like all of those things. You need to have a vision for what you want before you even get out there to do it. Like before you even attempt to make the content, you need to have a vision, a clear picture of like what you want the end product to look like because otherwise you won't have any direction. Um, have a calendar in which you do everything. And then I would say you just have to be engaged. Oh my gosh, this is a big package. Get, is that gonna happen? That's gonna happen. It's gonna have to give what it has to give. That's gonna have to do. I'm sorry. It's not, it's too big and that's fine. Next up, I would say you have to engage. You have to interact with your following because the important thing is to create a community. So if all you do is post, right? Ooh. Hold on. So if all you do is post, and you never once engage with the people who are supporting you. Like, why would they stick around? Why would they, if you're trying to be an influencer, why would they trust you to recommend them a product? Why would you, why would they, uh, you know, if you're trying to do a business, why would they wanna follow and be a part of your business? If you never interact with them. My followers, a lot of the times will say how positive I am. Um, and that's one of the things that they enjoy is that I'm very positive and that I like, you know, I'm always asking like, how's y'all doing today? You know, how we doing on this Tuesday? How we doing on this Thursday? Uh, and that's because that's what I would do. That's what I do in real life. Like if, if I'm around someone, I'm like, how you doing? And then they'll be like, I'm fine. And I'll be like, how you doing? Ooh, a really good tip is to make sure that when you engage with them, you're doing it around the same time. So that way they always know when to expect content from you. Where are my stickers? Um, these are the stickers I got. I don't know if you guys remember, like one of the first vlogs that I did. Aren't they the cutest? All right, so I found the bows. <laughs> well, you have to be confident in the work that you're putting out because you never really know what's going to like, quote unquote, go viral. Like I created this video right here. It's a beautiful what? day to be a black woman. It's a beautiful it's day to be a black woman. And I guess you could consider that one like going quote unquote viral or at least doing really well performance wise. Um, and I didn't know when I made that, that that was gonna happen. I just was creating content that I enjoyed, that I liked. Um, and it just so happened that lots of other people liked it as well. Okay, so we got that one. I got this one. You see it, it's so cute. You see what's on it? Can you guys see what's on it? Very pretty, very cute, very cute last tip let's see let's see let's see hmm. make sure that your quality is good because i think sometimes people get caught up in like needing the newest most best thing whatever and that's not really what it's about it's about making sure that when somebody clicks on your profile that when they go to it it's consistent and that it it makes sense when they go to your feed because if you have one picture that's like amazing and then every other picture you have is less than great they're not gonna follow you okay i'm gonna continue wrapping presents so um i'll show you guys when it's all done and yeah okay so i have officially finished wrapping all the presents Goodness gracious, it, it was a lot to do, but we've done it. We did it, and it's done. Next year, I may do bags. Honestly, 
I might do bad. So I'm just gonna end it right now. Um, and I will see you guys on Christmas Eve because that's the last vlog. And then it's just what I got for Christmas. So can't wait to see what Santa got me. Don't forget to like the video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see all you lovely, lovely, beautiful, beautiful people next time with another video. Bye guys.